Hello and welcome to another directed draw. So this is another advanced drawing, but again, I think you guys will be able to do it because you guys are so good at following directions. So listen carefully, watch it carefully, and we'll be able to draw stitch together. So here we go. First thing is you're going to have your paper wide like a wall, like I have it now. And then right in the middle of the paper, we're going to draw a circle. So go ahead and draw your circle as best as you can. Okay, there's my circle. Remember, do it lightly. Because if you want to go back and erase the lines later, you can. If you do it too dark, then it's going to leave the lines and it's just going to be hard to erase it. All right, so we are drawing Stitch today and he is going to be looking straight at us. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw the plus sign. Do you guys remember the plus that we did with Mickey? So I'm going to start here at the top anywhere and I'm just going to do a quick line down right in the middle of the head. So you can barely see it, but it's there. Now I'm going to go from here and I'm going to do another cross right across, or I'm sorry, not across, line right across the center. So now we have one, two, three, four pieces of our circle. Now the next part is we're going to draw a really, really, really big nose for Stitch. So his nose is going to be right in the middle, which means it's going to cross all the four little pieces. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to try and draw a pretty big circle. So it kind of looks like a donut. That's what it should look like right now. And remember, you guys can pause, fast forward, anything with this video as you go. If I'm going too fast, you can slow down, just hit pause. All right, the next step is I am going to kind of round out the top of his nose. So I'm going to go up, whoops. and down like that. Now the bottom part of his nose, it's gonna go rounded, but it's gonna be like a very soft V. So I'm gonna start over here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down, and I'm going past my circle line right here. And then I'm gonna go up, and connect. So it kind of almost looks like a koala nose, right? So that's going to be his nose. Okay. So I'm going to actually draw another line right beneath his nose, like right here. Okay. Um, I'm going to draw a line out, straight out this way and a line straight out that way. So this is where his mouth is gonna go. His mouth is a little tricky, but let's finish the nose first. So right here, I'm gonna draw a circle. And remember, this circle is going to be the shiny part. So that circle you will not color at the very end. So go ahead and draw a circle right here. And that's the shiny part. Next, I'm going to draw his nostrils, the little circles in his nose. So I'm going to start right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to curve up like a U or a J, upside down J. Then I'm going to come down straight and then curve into the side. Same thing on this side. Curve up like you're going to write a letter J. Whoops. Curve up, down, and in. So there are his nostrils. <clears throat> All 
All right, now we're going to go on to his mouth. So his mouth is going to be a wavy line. So if you've watched my warm up video, we practice doing wavy lines. So let, I'm going to do it right up here and then erase it. But the wavy lines are like these lines, right? Except his mouth is going to be a lot flatter than this one. It's going to be more like this. It's going to be like a W, but it's a flattened out W. Okay, so that kind of motion. If you want to take the time and practice on the back of this paper, go ahead and do that before you do the mouth. And then you can unpause the video and we can go right back on it. So the first thing is we're going to draw the corners of the mouth. So right here is going to be one corner. So I'm going to do a little C curve. And then the other one goes right over here. Backward C. Actually, maybe a little bit higher. There we go. All right. Now we're going to draw that wavy line. So starting from here and right in the middle of that, you're going to go down, then go below that line we drew to about here. You can do the same thing on the other side. Go down and stop. And then I'm going to start over here and we're going to go up, but we're going to go up slowly. So we're going to go up. That's still too fast. Okay. Go up slowly and down and like that. Connect it. Okay. So you see that kind of stretched out flattened W. If you did it, good job. Then right here in between the nose and the mouth that we just drew, you're going to draw a straight line. Boop. All right. So now we got his smile going. We're going to draw the bottom part of his mouth, which is going to be easier because we're going to follow the line of that circle you drew before. So starting here, you're going to go down. Go over here and go down. And then you're going to follow that line and you're going to flatten out right here and then go back up. Okay, so it's curved on the sides, kind of flat in the middle. I know it doesn't look like stitch right now, but it will. I promise. All right, so. Now we're going to draw Stitch's teeth and they're just going to be U shapes because his teeth aren't very pointy. They're just kind of round. So I'm going to start one right here and I'm going to go down and up. You see the U shape? I'll do that again over here. We're going to go down and up. Then I'm going to go here. I'm going to leave a little space right here. And I'm going to do another one, but it's going to be smaller. And then right behind it is going to be another tooth. So you're right here is where I'm going to start and put my pencil. And I'm just going to do like the letter J. Okay, same thing on this side. You're going to leave a little space. Go down and up, then down and up. Now we're going to do his bottom teeth. I'm going to put one right here and one right here. So this time you're going to do an upside down U. So I'm going to go up, down, up, down. Okay. I'm going to leave a little space like I did in the top ones. And I'm going to do a little bit wider U or a curve, and then another one right behind that. Same thing on the other side, it's a wider U, and then another one behind that. Okay. This one, I am actually gonna erase and redo because I think it's a little bit flatter. So I'm just gonna erase that part and just go boop. And same thing over here. Just flattening it out a little bit. 
like that. There we go. Now the next part, while we are still at his mouth, is I'm going to draw his tongue. And his tongue is kind of like an M shape. So it's going to start from here. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see clearer. And up close. You're going to start here. You're going to go up. It's going to go behind this tooth, so you're going to jump and go down like this. And then from here, you're going to go up, down, jump that tooth, and go down like that. So here is his tongue. Now with Stitch, you can kind of see his throat because he's always opening his mouth really wide. So I'm going to start right here. And we're going to do a curve line like that. And then from here, same thing, we're going to do a curved line like that. And this part, I'm going to go ahead and color in with my black crayon marker. So we know this is the back of his throat. Okay. Make sure you take your time coloring it in. Because if you're using marker or a pen, it's not, you can't erase it. All right. So here we go. So now it's kind of looking like Stitch, not really, but I promise you it will look like Stitch when you're done. Okay, so next we got a matter of his head. So Starting right here, right next to his uh, mouth corner, we're going to draw a line that curves up and around, kind of in a uh, upside down U shape. So I'm also going to follow the line of the circle we drew. So starting here, I'm going to go up, 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 and following that circle line that we drew. I'm going to stop here, pick up my pencil, and I'm going to actually turn this so it's easier for me to trace. Go down, around, and end on this side. Okay. So there's his head. And then we're going to draw his chin. So starting from this corner, you're going to go curve in like that and then follow the bottom lip up around the other side and close it okay so there's his head okay can you see or hear him talking can you hear his voice I don't know if my voice is warmed up yet to do his voice, but I'll do it at some point in this video. All right. So now we're going to draw his eyes. So what you're going to do is we're going to actually start from right here. So this isn't his eyeballs. It's the part that goes around his eyes. So what you're going to do is you're going to start here and you're going to go straight up all the way to the top but you're curving your line a little bit and then you're going to curve it and connect it to this part of the line and then you see your circle line right here so you're going to trace that to about here then you're going to go back here to the front and you're going to draw a curve down and up and connect it. Okay. Maybe we should do it a little bit lower actually. I'm going to start down here, not at the corner, and I'm going to go up like that. Okay, so there's one of his eyes. You're going to do the same thing over here. And zoom back in a little bit. So again, you're going to curve, whoops, 
you're going to go up, curve and connect. Then you're going to follow this line down, down, down and curve and connect. Okay, if you think that's too high, you can go back and do it again. So there is your eyeballs. So it's like a U shape and close it with a curve. Okay, now right here in the center is where our eye is gonna be and it's kind of like the same U shape except it's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna start right here on this line and I'm gonna curve up and down like that. Okay. Then I'm gonna go back to the front and curve down and up. Once I draw that, I'm going to go up here and we're gonna put a circle right there to show that his eyeball is shiny. Oops. Ta-da. Now we're gonna go over here to this eye and we're gonna start, we're gonna go up, curve down, and then close that with a curve. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the same circle in this eye in the same place. Does it look like stitch now? It's getting there. All right, so now let's do his ears. So his ears are really big. So to do that, using your pencil very, very lightly, you're going to draw a line on the side of his face. So we're gonna put a line over here and you're gonna do, from here you're going to draw a straight line up almost to the very top of your paper. Same thing on the other side. You're going to do a line straight up. And then you're going to close it with the letter C. So starting over here, I'm at the top and I'm gonna do a wide circle for a letter D, backwards letter D. And then I'm gonna go over here and do another, whoops, same thickness letter D. So his ears don't look like his ears just yet, but we will fix it, okay? So I'm gonna go back up here to the top. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round that corner, same thing on the other side. You're gonna round that corner so it's like a letter C. Once you do that, you're gonna put your pencil right where you ended that curve and you're gonna go down like this, all the way to the side of his cheek. Again, you're gonna go from here and you're gonna go all the way down to his cheek, whoops. If you go too far like I did, just erase it, okay? And then we're gonna do, we're gonna change the back of his ear. So we're gonna change this line. It's actually going to be a little curved. So I'm gonna start here. And we're gonna curve this line. So we're gonna go down, curve in, then to his head, okay? Again, on this side, I'll show you. We're gonna curve in, down, and around, like that, okay? You see how it's not matching up? So I'm going to redo this line. I'm gonna go down and out like that. If you still don't like it, try again, it's okay. I think that's better, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and erase 
these lines. This is why I said to do it lightly because we will be erasing a lot. And then I'm going to erase the straight line on the outside. Do that. I'm going to erase this line. And this line. Okay. So once you've erased those lines, you're going to go back. And we're going to do another curvy line. So from here, we're going to do a curved u-shape kind of thing it's flat so like the eyes so i'm going to start here i'm going to go up and down same thing over here I'm going to go up and down then i'm going to erase this line in the middle so any lines that you see that are in the ear you can erase it now because we don't need those anymore and in the face, you can erase those too. I'll give you a second to do that while I erase my lines. The ones in the nose technically don't have to erase it because we're going to color it um, a darker color. But if you want, you can. All right. So once you've done that, we're now going to um, do the indents or cutouts of his ear. So right here, we're going to do a letter V, like a sideways letter V. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go in and out like that. Okay. Once you do that, we're going to round the ends out. So over here, I'm going to round that out. And I'm going to round this one out. And I'm going to make my line a little darker because we know this is going to be it. Whoops. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and erase that line. Okay. Then up here on this ear, he, she, Stitch has a U-shaped cutout. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go down and up like a U. And then we're going to do the same thing where we round out these corners too. Round it out as best as we can. And then erase the line in the middle. So these are rounded corners. Okay. Does it look like stitch? I think it looks like stitch. Mm -hmm. I think we've kind of made his ears a little bit bigger. So to kind of fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here and I'm actually going to extend the inner line. Whoops. A little bit thinner and go here. Same with this side. Go there. Oh, wrong line. Wrong line. Don't do what I did. Okay, here and here, like that. And erase this line. Sorry about that. When you try to do things from memory, sometimes it doesn't really work that well. Okay. And then I'm going to erase this line. We'll redraw it. And I think we went down a little too far. So I'm going to erase this. If you like how it looks, you don't have to change it. But I want to do it so that we get this right. So we're going to go here like that. And I'm going to erase this line. Same thing on the other side. 
I'm going to have to erase this. Okay, and then we're going to connect this right there. There we go. That looks a lot better. All right, then we got to do the same thing with that little curve starting from here and curve it out. Okay, so after we do that, oh, I forgot this V right here. Forgot the V forget the V. All right. So now once we're here and it's looking more like stitch, the last thing we're going to do is his hair. So he has some hair up here. And uh, what you're going to do is we're going to do some sideways use. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go up and down and then right next to it there's a smaller one and in front of it so over here there is another small one like that then I'm going to erase these lines okay like that and then he also has some like eyebrow kind of things. So we're gonna go right here. Come on, erase. All right. But they're little, uh, like if you look at eyebrows from the side, they kind of push out a little bit. So he has something like that. And actually we're gonna put our pencil right here so move your pencil down and we're going to go up and do a U curve upside down U and stop. Okay. Same thing on this side. Go up, curve and down. Okay. And then I'm going to erase this line on the inside and over here. If you erase some of the other lines, it's okay. You can go back and just fix it. Okay. And then he has eyelashes kind of, so I'm going to thicken up this little piece right here at the top of his eye. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to draw a line across and fill it in. Okay. All right. So now you've drawn stitch. Hopefully this was easy for you to follow along. I'm sorry about those ears before. I'm going to move this down a little bit so it fits in the center. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start coloring his nose. I'm going to color it black. Or maybe his nose was dark blue. Do you guys remember? Because I cannot remember. Let's see. Stitch. No, it is dark blue. Okay. Never mind. I'm not going to color it black. So I'm going to go back here and we're going to get a dark blue, like a navy blue. And we're going to color it navy blue, actually. Let me draw. All right. Now I can color it. So try to color him very nicely. Trying to think of something to say with his voice. 
trying to remember that line from the movie. If you don't know who Stitch is, he is a alien type thing from outer space. He was created by some peop- some alien people, and he ended up escaping and landing somewhere in Hawaii. And he becomes friends with a girl named Lilo. And he is a very cute little monster. Alien monster thing. So, the movie is called Lilo and Stitch. And this movie came out when I was in elementary school. So... I think it came out when I was in, I think, second grade. That's a long time ago. (laughs) Whoops. Looks like I accidentally erased part of his nose. All right. So I'm going to finish coloring his nose. All right. So, there's his nose. Remember, you're not coloring in the circle at the top. I'm going to make his nostrils a little darker. Fill it in with black. Ta-da! Okay. While you have the black, you can color his eyes. Make sure you don't color in the white parts. So let's see. I think he says, Ohana means family. Family means nobody that's left behind. I don't even know if that was even good. But that's the closest stitch that I can do. <laughs> All comes from the back of the throat. So his eyes are black, and then the rest of him is kind of like a blue, light blue color. Get the last of this part. Okay, so it's like a light blue. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. His eyes and his stomach, well, he doesn't, we don't see his stomach here, but this part of his eyes is this color, like a turquoise kind of color. Try to stay inside the lines as best as you can. Okay. When you end up drawing something so big, it's hard to color everything really quickly. So 
switch back to that one because it gets more space. I've noticed that this is a lot easier to do and upload um, through my iPad than it is doing the actual pen and paper. So if anything, I think I might just stick to this um, and do all my live feeds with pencil and paper. Um, but again, we'll see. So the rest of him is kind of like this blue. So I'm going to try and quickly color this. Remember, don't rush. Try to stay in the lines as best as you can. Okay. So you'll be mostly using a lot of blues for this. I'll fix that later. That looks like this so far. I know I'm going back and forth between coloring certain spots. But sometimes that's how I color. And that's okay. As long as you color the whole thing, right? Also, I don't really edit these videos just because it's going to take too long, so I try to do these as quickly as possible. But I know that um, some of them end up being really long videos, <laughs> but you can always fast forward through them. So like this, if you want to know what to color, you can either look on the Instagram account where I'll have the actual picture of the finished product, or you can just fast forward to the end of the video. Whoops, not my eraser. And you'll be able to see it that way. So, trying to do this quickly. All right, so there's his face and now his ears. And the inside of his ears are going to be pink. And his tongue will be like a red color. And the inside of his mouth is also a red color. So again, I'll show you. And then looking at the picture online, it looks like his nose is a little bit darker than that. So I'll change that in a second. If you want an accurate, accurate uh, drawing of stitch, I'll try to get you the right colors. If you don't have those colors, it's completely fine too. All right, we're almost done, I promise. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. All right, then I'm gonna get my red. So I'm going to do a pinkish red, like a magenta maybe, and color that his tongue, make this a little smaller so I don't get the teeth. 
And I always have the cleaned up version of the drawings on my Instagram, so you can look at that on there. Okay, then I'm going to get a red, darker red, and color the inside that color. Okay, then I'm going to get some pink, and his pink is kind of like a pale pink. So light pink. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So it's going to look something like that, except it should be a lot more cleaner. <laughs> okay. Oh, and his nose. So his nose is that color. There we go. All right, and there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed drawing with me and drawing stitch together. And I hope it was easy for you. I'd love to see your pictures. Go ahead and tag me on Instagram, and I will see you next time. Bye.